Hey guys, Collective Community here. Welcome back to my channel where I make content about buying and selling Pokemon cards. And today I picked up more lots like I usually do. I buy Pokemon cards. So subscribe if you want to see some more. I'm going to be showing you guys what's inside these two lots. Let's get into it. So my first lot I actually bought from a viewer that's watching the channel right now, maybe. <laughs> um, but I bought this from a viewer. They saw that I was buying Pokemon lots and bulk and all that. So they reached out to me. I sent them a shipping label. Um, like I told you guys I would. And then I gave them, I think it was like $95 for this lot. I still need to pay them for the second half. I pay for the first half when it's confirmed shipped and second half when I get it to make sure that everything has reached me in well condition, good condition. Now, the only thing I don't like about this lot, and by the way, this lot is super well organized and packed. They did a really, really good job. And they taped on the edges, which I love, love. Like I was mentioning, these boxes get thrown around. Look, this was already starting to break on this edge here. So I really appreciate that they did did this well. Uh, but yeah, the only thing I don't like is that they added these stickiness. So the card, I just took one of these apart that was here and the card in the top and the back had residual stickiness, but not a big deal. I, I actually don't mind it too much since it does protect all the other cards. I just lose those two cards. And then it looks like everything else is in here, just um, firmly in here, held with tension. It doesn't have any wrapping, which also works as long as it doesn't move around. That's awesome. So this is the first lot that I bought. If you guys want to send me, sell, sell me your bulk, I'm mainly looking for Scarlet and Violet era, but I will uh, consider everything. Reach out to me at collectingcommunity.com, uh, collectingcommunity at gmail.com. So this is the first lot. So the second lot is also a viewer from the channel. Shout out to Market Scraper, and we've met before, opened up packs. Um, so this lot consists of bulk and ultra rares as well. So I do also buy ultra rares and i bought um i picked this one up so i do buy locally i i buy shipped and these two lots are about the same price this one i paid uh, 110 for so i just sent 10 dollars through paypal so i paid 110 the other one paid around 95 um what he did it priced it out and then i gave him 70 percent out of um the market value of the super rares and then everything else, I did bulk rate. Very awesome. So these two are a really good example of two different types of lots. This lot with ultra rares, I can flip a lot faster um, because they're high, the values in more of the higher end cards. But um, the other lot, I'll be able to make more money off. And actually, this, this is actually really good too because it has hollows and reverses. So I'll be able to make money of the bulk. But yeah, like I was, I'm trying to say is the bulk does take a little bit more to process. But at the end of the day, after you process it all, you should be able to make more out of it. So those are a little bit about the two lots that I've bought. If you guys want to sell me cards, you definitely can. I'll send you a shipping label. You can just put them in there and get paid for your cards. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of the different things that I've been experiencing as a reseller. All right, guys, so sorry about the mess, by the way, all the cards laying around. I have tens of thousands. Actually, at this point, I have over 100,000 cards. I'm very, very confident of that. Maybe even over 150. But anyways, I wanna um, go over some of the different things that I've been experiencing as a reseller. If you guys are following along on my journey, I told you guys that I was going to um, add more cards to my inventory. So I'm around 25,000 cards right now. I, I would have liked to be added more, like around 30, but things happen, life comes up. And honestly, I've been really occupied on buying lots. Even though I have so many cards, um, the reason that I'm still buying cards is because my strategy now is to try to have the most amount of cards listed so that way um, I can raise my prices per card and my shipping. Now I do need to be honest with you guys. I told you guys I was gonna raise my shipping cost to a 120 last time. I ended up dropping it down to $0 again. And I left my minimum at 15 cents per card. The reason is just is because I just wasn't getting that many orders. I do plan to try to raise it up 
um, but it's all about timing. And I want you guys to really understand that. That's kind of what I tried to explain in my first video, or not first, a couple of videos ago, um, that it, the name of the game with selling really is having the most cards in your inventory, um, but it's also about timing as to what you're going to offer the prices. Eventually, you will want to price it so that you don't lose per order, like 15 cents per card, but no one's gonna buy those cards from you if you only have a few cards. It doesn't make it convenient for them, so you need to have a lot of cards. If I can, if I can uh, describe reselling in a couple sentences of how to be successful and what's going to happen, it would be this: you're going to make a, you're going to lose a lot of money buying inventory, and you're not going to make much selling until you get to a certain threshold, and then it will start to, to pick up. And from what I've been seeing in my store with my number of inventory and raising the prices is that people are starting to um, purchase more through TCG Player Direct since I'm a direct member. They have that option to purchase through them. And I wonder if it's because at one point I had that 120 shipping and TCG Player didn't have the shipping. So they were just like, I'll purchase through them. But to me, that is perfect. I don't have to ship that, spend that overhead cost, and I'm still making money. Um, and all that time. Now, maybe I would make more money if I shipped it out myself, but then I would have to buy the la the stamp the and uh, everything else, right? Put the labor behind it as well. So a um, couple things I'm experiencing. People are buying through TCG Player when they're choosing to buy through me now, most of the orders. And I have seen some of the lower end cards get pushed up to 15 cents and actually being sold. So just because I'm offering everything to 15 cents, my question now is, will it actually sell? And I have seen some three cents, two cent cards being part of orders that people need more other cards for, but then they add those and they're willing to pay those 15 cents for those cards. So it is really about convenience and that's why I keep buying. I want to have the best, the most diverse inventory that I possibly can. Um, but it is a risk you're buying, right? In the hopes <laughs> that it will sell. So it is a risk. Oh, one thing is that my schedule might be switching a little bit because on Thursday night, so very soon right now, it's Tuesday. On Thursday night, I'm going to be um, traveling to New York. I'm heading to America. <laughs> I'm already in America, but uh, <laughs> New York, it seems like, you know, like coming to America type of the movie, right? America. <laughs> Anyways, I want to be traveling to New York and it's going to be for a special reason. I actually met someone online that's watching this video now. What? <laughs> and uh, so we have a little online dated for a bit now and I'm going to about go see her. So this is going to be really interesting. First experience for me. <laughs> Very wild. So I wanted to give you guys a personal update and also a schedule update. And maybe I'll try to shoot some footage while I'm there. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing. Um, if I go to the card shop or anything Pokemon related, or maybe just a quick touristy vlog, we'll see. I'll keep you guys updated. Drop a like if you like this video, subscribe if you wanna see some more, and I'll see you guys next time. Later.